Chris. This is going to be an NFL edition, and in this NFL edition, we're talking about the Miami Dolphins and, of course, the quarterback carousel and the quarterback controversy that continues. So the Miami Dolphins decide to get rid or let go of Ryan Fitzmagic or Ryan Fitzpatrick, however you're familiar with calling him, and he decides to go and sign with the Washington football team, and that man is just pretty much you name an NFL team, he's played on it. At least as far as I know, he's played for every team in the AFC East. God knows how many other teams that I can't even remember. And they went and decided to sign Jacoby Brissett. Tom Brady's old backup, then a overpaid starter in Indianapolis who was ultimately replaced by Philip Rivers. Did Brian Flores do this because he's worried about Tua getting hurt and they have a similar quarterback style? Did they do this because they knew that Brian Fitzpatrick was ultimately better and he would have led the Dolphins to the playoffs had they not gone with Tua? So now they're going a different route, with, which is trying to preserve the psyche of Tua. Now, I wasn't a big Tua fan. I'm not a very big Tua supporter. I don't have very much faith in Alabama quarterbacks. And yes, I know that that's a bias. In college, they are absolutely unstoppable. But when they come to the NFL, it seems like the learning curve is a bit too high for them. And they all kind of just tank out. They make great coordinators, great assistants, great backup quarterbacks. But they haven't made great franchise quarterbacks. So now, Jacoby Brissett signs a $5 million guaranteed deal with incentives up to $7.5 million. And I'm sure that's based off of if he ends up starting and taking the job from Tua. Because I truly believe that the Dolphins aren't sold on Tua. And I truly believe that the Dolphins are kicking themselves in the ass for not drafting Justin Herbert and letting him go to the Chargers where he set every offensive rookie record for a quarterback known to man. And now they're looking at Tua and he was gifted a playoff team. And what did he do? They ended up losing the last game of the season, which inevitably would have put them into the playoffs. So now the backup is Jacoby Brissett. And truthfully, I think that they did this because Jacoby Brissett won't post a real threat to Tua. So ownership and management can go, Tua is our guy, yeah, rah, 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 because now they're giving him someone who he shouldn't lose his job to. In Jacoby Brissett's career, he's 12 and 20. Most of that came with the Indianapolis Colts. And he didn't start any games last year. He was two of eight for his completions that he was in because he was in in garbage time. And let's see, his 31 touchdowns and 13 interceptions in his career. So in his two full seasons as a starter, he threw 18 touchdowns and six interceptions and 13 touchdowns and seven interceptions. So nothing overwhelming, but he's at two to one. Now, this is what they picked as a backup quarterback. Granted, there were guys like Andy Dalton who were available, but even Andy Dalton, I believe they were worried, was going to take to his job. Someone like Cam Newton, probably worried that Cam Newton would take his job. Seeing names like Jameis Winston and Cam Newton and Andy Dalton, the Dolphins are trying to sell to their fans that Tua is the answer and Tua is their franchise guy. Well, this year we're going to find out how invested in Tua they are. Now, they could go out and pick up some wide receivers and see if that actually helps, but if Tua tanks with the roster that they have now, that 40-year-old Ryan Fitzpatrick almost took to the playoffs. I guarantee you Tua's ass is gone next season. I truly believe that the Miami Dolphins signed Jacoby Brissett because they didn't want Tua to have a competent backup. So this way they can say that this team belongs to him because they can ultimately go in the quarterback room and go, there's no way Jacoby Brissett should be outplaying Tua. There's no way that Jacoby Brissett should be making passes that Tua can't because Jacoby Brissett is an NFL backup. And if he's outworking Tua and he looks better than Tua in a new system, something's wrong with Tua. Let me know what you guys think of this take in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at Raw Sports Talk. Follow me on Twitter at Raw Sports Talk One. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. I'm out. Ooh, baby, I like it, bro. Yeah, baby, I like it, bro.